Hey, how's it going? Um, this is basically a bit of a different video that I do on the channel. So this video is basically a book review. So I've been asked on like some of the comments, some of the books I recommend for using math. So there's two books um, that I review. So this is the first book I want to go over. It's called Calculus with Multiple Variables Essential Skill Workbook. Uh, basically, it's all about vector calculus. So this is like Calculus 3 with workbooks. So the book actually starts off it doesn't have a lot of like huge explanations. It's more of like a workbook. So as you can see, the contents are there. So we have partial derivatives, the chain rule with multiple variables. That's basically like the chain rule with um, partial derivatives. Uh, extreme values of mu partial um, multiple variables. That means like saddle points because you can have a maximum and a minimum on a 3D curve at the same point. Uh, vectors, scalar, um, polar coordinates, spherical coordinates, circular <laughs> coordinates, the gradient, the divergence and the curl. These were when I first got this book. These are the two things I wanted to learn. Um, basically, the divergence it does with um. It's basically this. Oh, it's this symbol here. So this is for the divergence. It's basically the dot product of the um, divergence operator with a vector or a vector field or something. And this is basically the curl. It's the cross product. So that's what that means. What else? We have um, normal and tangent vectors. Those are quite good. Uh, line integrals is basically integrating over a particular path. Those are very important. And for the last two chapters, it's got basically surface and volume integrals, center of mass and moment of inertia. I think there's one more bit. No, nope, there is no one more bit. So basically it just starts off with basically what a partial derivative is. It gives you a little summary, but it doesn't go into huge depth. If you want to know what it is, I'd research a video or go on a different book. But it basically shows you how to um, work one out, okay? So you just treat the um, other variable if it were a constant, see? So it goes through that, gives a couple examples on the second page as well. And then it gives you questions. And now they've actually given you space to write the answers in, but I wouldn't recommend that. I'd do it just on a bit of paper. So yeah, they've got tons of exercises. Um, then they've got one for finding the second partial to uh, Chapter 2, chain rule. Same deal. It gives you basically an example and a rundown of how to do it. And then, yeah, oh, those ticks are just from me um, finishing them. Yeah, so this is a really good book. And if we scroll, and it's got all the answers to all the problems at the back of the book. So it's got every single, and it's in full detail as well. Like, if you buy this book, you're getting your money's worth. It is a skills book, and it's absolutely fantastic. Because it's got all the steps there of how to work it out. So you, they find the partial derivative with respect to z. Differentiating this function. Okay, then you're just taking the y um, to the power of 6 and 3 at the front because it's treated as a constant when you're partially uh, differentiating. And you're just differentiating that bit. And then you get that. Yeah, so it's got all the answers. Yep. And it's also got sort of explanations like why they put it like this. So note to put in the final answer. In standard form, we multiply by that. So that answer is correct, but they're telling you why they put it like this. Just put it in like standard form. So you know like in a math book how they put like random answers down and it doesn't explain why it looks like that, even though you probably got the same answer. This explains like all the steps to that. Um, yeah, so this is a really good book. It has tons of problems, answers. Um, yeah, so this is one for, this is um written by Chris McMullen. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. Sorry if I've absolutely munted that name. But at the back, I believe it has a little author section. He's written tons of books. So yeah, it's a little bit about the author at the back. He's written tons of books. I only own this book and this book here. But I am going to buy some of them. So I'm going to buy these two. These are quite good books. And it's got tons of ones. So if you're looking for other beginner math books, he's got tons of them. He's even got physics as well. Look, tons of physics books as well. And advanced physics as well. And they're all like workbooks, okay? These are like just question books, okay? Even goes into a little bit of Maxwell's equations in here as well with some of the surface integrals, like an application bit. Anyway, a uh, really good book if you're wanting to learn calculus 3. Uh, if you don't know any calculus, I would not get this book. I would get um, the book that I'm about to do a book review on in a second. Um, so the, the book I would recommend if you're just starting would be this one here. So this one has all the questions in it. Okay, For beginners, this is like a extension bit. Anyway, definitely a very good book. Uh, uh, I paid like, I think I paid like $15 for this, but that's Australian dollars. I don't know how much it would be in other countries, but yeah, very good book.